How's it going? This is Coleman here from Jewel Tech, and um, this is the third part in our series of tutorials where we talk about how we make our music and just the t tricks and techniques we go about for making them. And today I'm going to hopefully briefly um, show you sidechaining um, in Ableton and uh, just how essential and necessary it is in, in our music and we see all dance and electronic music today so um, I'll give you a quick listen to what we had from the last tutorial. It sounds pretty good, but um, it sounds a lot better when things are side chain and it'll get more pumping kind of sound. So I'll jump straight into it. Th then the first thing we're gonna have to do with side chaining is um, make a duplicate of our kick drum. So that's the trigger that's gonna be sent in to our compressor that's gonna trigger the the, the side chaining. So let's go and make a duplicate of our kick channel. And then call this trigger. Um, for our trigger kick, um, just for, for the audio too, it's you send it to the sends only because um, you don't want to hear two kicks. You don't want to hear your 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 number one kick and then your and your duplicate at the same time. All you want all the du or the trigger kick needs to be is for a send, just for effects and stuff. So just make sure that's a sends only. Um, Right, so we can just go straight to the straight to the hats here. See this hat loop is going to hat bus and there's already a compressor on this channel. And just to get this side chain in straight away, all you do is just come down to this drop down menu here, click into your side chain uh, option, and when you go to audio from select your trigger kick up here. So if we play we'll just solo the hat here and play it and I'll just feed the effect in and you can see the effect it's having. So as you can see, you're getting just that pumping kind of sound that you hear and all over all different types of dance music, all different types of electronic music and it's pretty essential. You can bring in the percussion part here now as well actually. And we'll just do the exact same thing to the percussion part. This is going to percussion bus and we'll go into the side chain and part of it here. We go to trigger. Take the release down a small. But you can adjust the release to whatever you want, and just it for different effects. Well, I'll drop this down. You can just see. I'll just solo this on its own, and you'll be able to hear the immediate effect as on a percussion. Like it's. So this is it. What I went. So you can see the effect it can have. It basically keeps things off off the kick drum. It gives you a lot more room in the mix for just. It gives your kick drum a lot more room to breathe. You get a lot more kind of pump and kind of sound off your track. And it's if you, if you play it all together now, it's going to sound a lot different. It's going to sound a lot more kind of just solid and just kind of you know nice sound to it. So I'll just give you a quick listen through it now. It sounds a lot better already. You can hear the kick drum has more room to come out and breathe, and it's just it uh, it's 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 an essential part of dance music now. So you have you have to learn it. So that's how we do it in Ableton. So that's it basically. So stay tuned for our next tutorial. Um, we should have one pretty soon. So anyway, cheers, guys. Thanks. <laughs>